Hey, how are you doing? I am Gio. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time or welcome back and welcome to another music reaction. Today we are doing the Smiths. I've never reacted to the Smiths on this channel. Um, I have heard a few Smith songs. I've heard um, Stop Me. So it's called No, me, stop me. Stop me if you think I've heard this one before. I've heard that. I've heard um, this charming man. I've heard that. But today we are doing How Soon Is Now by the Smiths. I'm pretty confident I've never heard this. Again, so, again, so, just a disclaimer. I might start playing this and go, all right, okay. But no, as far as I know, I have never heard this. So, let's see what the Rolling Stone magazine says about How Soon Is Now because this is number 421 in the greatest 500 songs of all time. 421, which is still, it, it seems low, but like, you know, in the history of popular music, like, in the top 500 is amazing, you know, I mean, it really is, but 421, so, with its engulfing, molten guitar intro and, and enormous drums, I'm gonna like us already, how soon is now, which began life as a B-side, grew into a bona fide club hit for the Smiths, Guitarist Johnny Marr wanted a riff that would be inescapably recognisable. When it plays in a pub or a club, he said, everyone knows what it is. Marr came up with the song's guitar riff, hung over an afternoon session after producer John Porter asked him to try and replicate the Elvis Presley classic, that's alright. Porter later recalled thinking, now we've got a bond that could be like R.E.M. or now. Would you want to be? I know also that um, I think the Johnny Moore in uh, what's his name, um, Morrissey, not have like a big falling out, right? It was only like a, a a massive clash of egos between the two of them. I think it maybe was. Anyway, the Smiths. The Smiths were an English rock band formed in Manchester in 1982, composed of singer Morrissey, guitarist Johnny Moore, and bassist Andy Rourke, and drummer Mike Joyce. Morrissey and Marr formed the Bond Song in Partnership. The Smiths are regarded as one of the most important acts on marriage from 1980s British independent music. Yeah, I know, I know the Smiths are idolised. I know they are. They are held up as one of the great English bands. I know that. The Smiths signed to independent label Rough Trade Records in 1983 and released their first album, The Smiths, in 1984. Their focus on guitar, bass and drum sound fusing 1960s rock and post-punk was a rejection of synth-pop sound predominant at the time. Right. In the internal tensions led to the Smiths' breakup in 1987, followed by public lawsuits over royalties. The band members said... Each said that the band would never reunite and refuse all offers to do so. So they lasted fucking five years. Five, five years. The first album, 1984, and they were split up by 1987. Wow. Like I said, yeah, there must have just been, you know, alcohol and drugs and egos, but a bad combination. Well, it's a good combination for making music, but it's a bad combination for like it cohesive partnership in it but anyway this is gotta be this is gonna be the smiths with how soon is now <laughs> So, anyway, right, so I is a very recognisable, very recognisable start to the song. Right, a little uh, very reverbed out riff. 
and yeah, I've definitely heard that before. I've definitely heard it before, but I never recognize it as the Smiths, right? And then you listen further in the song, and it's clearly, it's clearly Morrissey's voice. But I don't know if I've maybe heard it as part of a film soundtrack or something, rather than listen to the whole song. Because like I said, it's the voice is clearly Morrissey because he's got a very, very distinctive voice. But I've definitely heard the start of the song at least, but I'm not sure I'll listen to the whole thing. But anyway, let's... Um, It's a beautiful piece of music, isn't it? It's, it's really, really nicely played. And, you know, of course it is, because uh, Johnny Marr is one of the best guitarists of his time, I believe. I believe Johnny Marr is seen as, you know, top shelf, top shelf player. Um, see, when Marr sees vocals, though, does he, do you think he writes songs as songs, or it's more like poetry to music? It's like lyrics that fit a song rather than actual lyrics that make sense in a storytelling sort of way. Is Morrissey's songs about anything or is it just sort of like, it sounds good? You know, it sounds, the words I am saying, the phrases I have put together fit with this piece of music. So, you know, no complaints though. It sounds fucking phenomenal, you know. Like, he's got a... a fantastically recognisable voice, Morrissey.
So I was dismissed with how soon is now. And yeah, I have definitely heard that before. It's very, very recognizable, especially the guitar. Very, very well made. It's very um seems very modern for the time, right? You've got the the sort of the rough guitar lick panning between the sides, very far. Do, 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 do. You've got very, very, very um punchy reverby drums morrissey singing not too much right right <laughs> um morrissey not like not overly overly singing the track right it was more like a tune with morrissey's and um, some lines there right i wonder if that was them um, how the band finished hey morrissey how about you like try singing less Woke you lot i'm off the band's over I don't know what the accent was. I'm sure as fuck it was named Mancurian. But, I mean, I was, I was, I was good. I was, um, like I said, I, I'd heard this song before, but I never recognised it as the Smiths. But yeah, but I, I don't know why I can though. I don't know why I did recognise the Smiths, because Morrissey has got a very recognisable voice, and that was clearly Morrissey singing. Right? Or maybe it was just the riff that, I'd heard before. Maybe it was like a, a, a film soundtrack or some something like that. But anyway, I was the Smiths. I was how soon is now. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, subscribing, commenting, interacting, all that stuff. Thank you to the guys on the Patreon. I appreciate you. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.